Right guys, so welcome back to Ayakashi. So this is part 7 and this is now back onto the usual schedule of recording things how they should be recorded. No more backseat commentary, no more me rushing through trying to keep up with past me's reading speed, which apparently is super fast. So I'm just going nice and relaxed through this again, like we were before. So, we're carrying on. I think this is episode 11, if I remember rightly. Can't remember. Um, so, we're getting near the end. We've just met, briefly, Akito's bitchy parents. Just gave us some dirty looks. Akito screamed at them. And that's them gone. I, I don't know whether they're still here, whether they've disappeared back with their fan to the mountain. I, I, in the sentence I never thought I'd ever say. Anyway, let's crack on. I put a foliage plant back to where it was supposed to be and clean up the soil. When I look at the wall, there is a lot of damage caused by the whirlwind. I noticed that I have to change the wallpaper. It makes me sigh. Probably they couldn't understand that Akito wanted to sing in human world. The next day, when Akito's parents left, also oh, they have gone. It's the tough schedule that they need to finish the ballad song somehow and release for the first time tomorrow. There is a recording of the live broadcast of a music programme tomorrow. Pierre Rose have also been on the same programme. They have reported to Akito's parents. Even though they are from a different tribe, grasses, they must be thinking about some other ways to sabotage the band. Right. Hey, why aren't you answering me? Hello? What? I didn't realise he was calling me. He could tap my head while I was sweeping with the broomstick. Sorry, I was concentrating on cleaning. When I turned around and looked back, Akito was there, smiling kindly. Oh, he's starting to warm to it, like properly start. He's, he's smiling nicely now. You don't have to lie. It's written on your face that you are extremely worried. Really? Y you can tell? I thought that I shouldn't make Akito worry about me. I flashed my best smile at him. How's the songwriting? Is it going well? Ah, ah yeah. But Yuki said that the drum part was difficult and Kosi said it's easy to get muddled, putting everything together. Plus, Kasumi told me that he's having a hard time. Oh my god, whine, moan, complain. Following the melody during the ad lip. The confidence that he has that he'll fix everything on time seems very professional. Great! I can't wait until it's all complete. I really want to listen to the song that Akito has put his efforts and feelings. Of course, I'm going to the studio together tomorrow with everyone. Yeah. But you are going to stay here. Kisuke is going to turn this into a safe house and create a protective shield. What the f Why? What? Why? When looked surprised, Akito scratches his head. Hey, you really don't understand that you've become a target, do you? We already told you, the one who makes you fall in love with them wins the Magatama. Fall for? What makes you think I love you? When I think about it, everyone was talking about that in the beginning. But as I started to stay with the members of Foxia, I felt like we were becoming friends. That we became friends, eventually. If that's what it is, then I already like everyone. Akito spoke honestly, but bitterly with his head down. I told you, you're in danger. If you say that you like us already, then they will feel like they have a chance to persuade your heart too. Akito started pointing at me and lecturing me. Oh no. Um. Oh god, what do I pick? Why do they keep making me me do these things and potentially mess things up with Akito? What do I want to do? Right, well, you know what? I'm just going to be honest. I really want to go. How about that? Because that's not true. Okay, I'll stay. No, just don't stay. I really want to go. I want to go. Let me go. But I really want to go to the shooting tomorrow. Tomorrow. It's a song that Akito struggled so much on whilst thinking about others. As a manager, and also as a fan, I was really looking forward to this. No, you can't. Are you trying to make me break the promise already? That's... I already understood that Akito really wants to keep the promise that he mentioned the other day, but it makes me stop talking about it anymore. I understood that Akito was worried for me, so it was difficult to argue with him on this one. I decided to watch the live broadcast from the office. So they're all going to be gone, right? They're going to be away out of the building. Fair enough, this can't be this weird shield. But doesn't that not leave me more prone to attacks? I'm going to get jumped on by, like, raccoons and shit. 
With the protective shield that Keisuke makes, we'll put our power all together. It will be difficult for the other races to enter this place. Oh. Well then. You think that they will be doing something to disturb you guys? The power that's inside this Magatama is the power of the fox, right? Even if other tribe gets it, isn't it? Useless. Still, if you are manipulated by them, you might be able to use the power. What they want is the power itself. Not you. You're worthless. I felt scared when Akito explained that I could be used as a tool if they wanted to. My parent also knows about you. The words have probably spread to a raccoon villages too. Everyone will be looking for you now. Akito looked down and continued talking uncomfortably. Even my father said the same thing. If a human girl has the Makatama, even with the Makatama's protection, I should look for a time when you are vulnerable. Then take away your consciousness and turn you into my doll. Your dad's a dick. If I do that and gain the power from the Magatama, I don't have to do stupid things like singing in the human world. I will be able to live as the chief in the fox village. Oh! Okay. That's the reason why Akito screamed and rushed out suddenly. I've decided that it's my dream to sing for our village and to show the power of the fox through singing our songs. I don't want others to destroy this. Akito's tone gradually became rougher. When it comes to the patch of a fox village chief, uh, the path of a fox village chief, Akito's dream is irrelevant. I really want to help Akito and the other members. If I'm in a danger, despite my will, this Magatama is going to activate. It's nothing to do with me being defenseless or not. Yeah, I know. I know that sometimes you can't do anything to help us, even if you want to. That's why I'm asking you to stay here tomorrow. Just to be careful. Akito spoke lovingly and brought me closer to him. Akito. Akito stroked my head and back to calm me from becoming too anxious. Akito murmured softly. Please, listen to my song tomorrow. Sing to me, Akito. It was a determined voice that I've never heard from him before. Sing to me. Sing to me. Finally, today is the day of the battle against... Whoa! I thought it was a song! The Battle of the Bands! On today's live broadcast on the music programme, Foxia and Pierre Rose are releasing a new song. During this programme, there will be an audience who will cast votes during a performance, and one with the most votes can win the right to do a live performance in the Budokan, one of the biggest live performance venues in the middle of Tokyo. I've heard of... Oh, wait, hang on, no, that's Budokai. Yeah, I'm thinking Dragon Ball Z. Budokai. I was like, that's a fight arena, isn't it? Like, no, it's a tournament in an anime Dragon Ball tit. We can't lose this battle! Angry gremlin face! Yuki's brimming with motivation. We won't. With Kosei's couldn't give a shit face. Let's try our best. When I need to do it, I'll do it. Each of the members say a comment to get hyped up. Let's go! I'll be supporting you guys in front of the TV! <laughs> I'll be supporting you right here on my arse, watching telly. My cousin is heading to the studio instead of me, saying that I have other errands so I can't attend. I've been working on the backstage a lot, he said. It's good to go to the studio sometimes. It's sad that I can't vote for them, but I'll be supporting you from here. I remember clasping my hands with frustration that I couldn't go as I waved off the members to the studio. As I was watching them leave in the distance, I hope that they'll succeed. What happens if they lose? They die. That's how <laughs> Battle of the Bands ends in death. I was cleaning up the office for a while and I wanted to take a coffee break. There was a notica notification for a missed call. It's the phone number of the studio for today. Maybe it's Akito and others. Normally speaking, they call me from their mobile phone. I was wondering why they were calling from the studio's phone, so I called back to He Studio. It was possible that they weren't near the phone anymore, but after ringing three times, someone answered. Hi, this is Foxy's manager speaking. When I said that, there was a bright voice interrupting me from talking. Oh my god, it's you! You finally noticed! I'm so sorry, but Akito is in trouble right now. Apparently you forgot an important document. Documents? What is it? I've never heard about any important documents. I tried looking around on his desk to see anything left there, but I can't find any. It's a trap! 
It's a trap, it's not the gremlin's voice. I don't really know how much about the detail, but it's on the desk at his apartment. Oh no. This is a trap. Blanche, it's a trap. In the apartment? It's a trap, Blanche. Don't do it. Even if I go at the apartment and go to the studio, it'll be the time for them to be on the show on, the show on live camera. I wasn't sure about it, and I was told not to leave this office. I don't know whether I should leave here. I remember that he was worried because I would be easily fooled. On the phone, it was definitely Yuki's... It definitely? Is it definitely, though? Okay, it's on the table in the apartment, right? Oh, you idiot! What Akita was afraid of was for me to be in contact with Pierre Rose. If I'm arriving right before the live broadcasting, then they should be in the position in front of the camera and waiting for their cue. Just in case there's a possibility of meeting them, I should probably ask my cousin to come out when I get close to the studio. I left the office in a hurry, grasping the Magatama tightly. Oh no, Blanche, you idiot! There was no unusual change on the way to the apartment. The trouble was that when I got to Akito's place, there was nothing on his desk. What the hell? Isn't it the desk he was talking about? I thought there was some envelope on the table in the living room, but it's been cleaned and nothing was on the desk. Was there any desk in the bedroom? In the boudoir? Maybe he meant as a side table next to the bed, so I tried to going in. When I grabbed the doorknob, I thought I heard meowing sound. Well, it's not a raccoon then, is it? Oh? I don't know where it entered from. There was one can with a bell on its neck, jumping from the sofa. I think they mean cat. <laughs> it was a Coca-Cola can with a bell on its neck. It had an envelope in its mouth. No, that envelope. Cute kitty kitty kitty. Give it back to me. Is this like a crossover? Is this like Kitty Love and Foxy Love coming together? When I called, the cat looked surprised and slowly coming towards me. Good kitty. Thank you. I was able to take the envelope from the cat. When I tried to open the envelope... Gotcha! What? What? I was surprised when the cat talked. The moment I opened, there were... Ivies coming out <laughs> and grew from the envelope. What's an Ivy? Oh, do they mean Ivies? <laughs> is it like Ivy, like the tree thing? What is this? I can't take it off. The Ivies. Yeah, it is Ivy. <laughs> My legs and hands are wrapped immediately with some kind of Ivy, some kind of Ivy, twisting around my body and constricting me so that I can't move. You guys are so simple. It makes me laugh, really. As the cat spoke, it changed its appearance. Instead of the cat standing there, there was a cute girl with pigtails and two cute ears poking through. No, it looked like a pretty girl, but I knew that was a boy. The cat from Pierre Rose. Oh, you know my name too? I'm so happy. Meow. There was a barrier all the time in this apartment, but it's been moved to the office today. It was really convenient to use this apartment today. It's the member who dresses up as a woman and acts cute. Even now he's making a cat's paw paws near his face. Why? You shouldn't be at the live perform you should be at the live performance now. After all you don't know anything, do you? Cats can Whoa! Cats can divide Oh, hang on. I'm so surprised my pause menu's kicked in. How do I Oh no. Oh no, I don't want to load anything. How the hell do I use this menu? Right. Cats can divide themselves into two. After all, you don't know anything, do you? Cats can divide themselves into two. Meow. So my other half is there in the studio. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Cats can divide, divide themselves in two. I mean, I can't believe you didn't know that. Also, I'm so good at turning into others too. Look. Way. He turned into Yuki. As I desperately struggled against me against being tied up, I tried to use my Magatama, but it wasn't responding. <gasps> he pretended to be the gremlin on the phone. Magatama isn't responding at all. Eh. Even if I tried to break the ivy, it just pulls even tighter. Hey, you want to listen to their new song, right? I will show it to you, of course. Nekone carried me on its shoulder and brought me into the studio. What, so he carried you on his shoulder to the studio? Didn't anyone not, like, see you? Akita! 
it all. Nikki they showed me the live broadcast on the TV in the waiting room. The host of the program just spoke to Akito. I heard it's your first time to make a ballot. Yes, it took me a very long time to make this one. He was stuck in the studio for ages. Even now, although I was caught by Pierre Rose, I was getting really excited when I knew their song will be played soon. A song with Akito's feelings. The intro part of the music started. The sounds overlap with each other and it sounds very different from a usual ballad. Oh? When the song started, I lost my words. I thought it was for the members. I thought the song was about the conflict happening at the Fox Village and its determination to reach his dream. As I listened to the lyrics, my tears overflowed. Is that song for... Moi? I may have misunderstood when he said, you, maybe as a future chief, he meant as the people from the village. But even then, I couldn't stop thinking that the song was for me. I couldn't stop the tears from flowing. Why are you crying right now? It's still early to cry. Show's starting now. What? <laughs> meow meow. <laughs> As Nekane raised its voice, suddenly a white light emanated from me and my body floated gently into the air. What? What's going on? It's... Oh no. When I opened my eyes, I was suspended with ivy from the ceiling at the back of the audience seat. What? what? Foxy has performance stops. No, you have to continue. Carry on singing. I understood the aim of Pierre Rose. It wasn't to stop the performance. If that was it, then it would just be ended as an eight. Uh, if that was it, then it would be just ended as an accident. Damn it. It is because of them. As Akito groaned, his pupils became thinner and very fox-like. As he became angrier, it would be recorded on camera. Akito, calm down. You can't let your emotions get out of control. I tried crying out desperately to stop him, but in the meantime, the ivy started tearing from my weight. Oh, she's going to drop. Oh my! I knew I shouldn't have had that donut. From three stories up, if I fell, it would be a very dangerous fall. There are also some equipment and set underneath. Maybe I can activate my Magatama. Magatama, activate. Akito, hide from the camera, everyone. Magatama has the power of the fox. If they receive the power, that means they will be having their ears and tails out. If it appears, it'll be the end for them. But can I just say, from what I can remember from previous episodes, they have fake ears and fake tail on to look like a fox. But the fake ear and fake tail looks like their actual ears and tails. So if their real ears and tails came out, it wouldn't be that much of a problem really, would it? Watch out! Akito shouted at me and flew over the moment. The ivy was cut completely. Akito! While I was falling, the Magatama lit up again. Slowed down time, enough for Akito to be able to catch me. The moment he grabbed me in the middle of the, of the air, the ears that he wore on his head had fallen and his real ears sprung out. Oh my god! Also the tail was also different from the one you can hook on your pants. It was even fluffier and beautifully pink. What? Is this part of the performance? Did a kid fly without a wire? Look! His eyes are glowing! Monster? There were people screaming and shouting. The Nekane that was on the stage started screaming loudly and deliberately. Oh my goodness! That's a fox! It's terrifying! Fox ears are a group of fox monsters! Oh, what a dick! Yo! That moment with Akito's anger, there was wind circulating all of a sudden and torn the chair next to Nekane. Oh, that's really... That's a monster! When Akito started to glare intensely, floating fire emerged. His power must be overflowing. How come my Magatama didn't respond when I was caught? It's like to show the true identity of Akito and other members. What is this? She's not taking the side of the fox. <laughs> I start to be afraid of the Magatama. I have no clue why and how am I, I am supposed to use it. At least, it seems like it's trying to protect me and I can't use the power for Akito and others. What does the Magatama want? Foxy era monstered? <laughs> They've been monstered. What's going on? Get them out of here, quickly. We can't continue on the stage anymore. It was too obvious from how Pierre Rose were acting to get rid of Foxia. They approached the host of the program. What? You guys are also... We are what? Huh? 
gremlin. They started to provoke them and grinned. They don't enjoy making music at all. They probably don't care if they show their true identities. Let's leave here for now. Everyone, come on. Keisuke called the other members and finally looked at Akito. Oh no. Oh no. They can't play anymore because they're now... I they're, don't know what's going on. I'm just assuming everything's fucked up. They'll probably Magatama later on or wipe everyone's memories or... Oh, Keisuke, Keisuke will do it. He'll do it. He'll just... Just blank everything. Akito regretfully pit, bit his lip and coming back to the stage holding me. His tail glowing with light is beautiful. His pupils were fascinatingly shining with power. This is our last performance. Oh no! The audience members were frightened by Akito and many of them left. People who were too frightened to leave just froze in their seats. As Akito looked at the destruction, he murmured into my ear with a voice that only I can hear. Bitch! <laughs> you did this! Keisuke appeared with Yuki, Kosei and Kasumi on either side of him. He was transporting us all with a whirlwind. We can't say it or not, but the ballad that Akito and others sang for the first time was given a huge shock to many people. Oh no! Is everything fucked up? Oh shit, the bed! Um. Oh shit's going down. Sunbeam shone through the leaves. It was mildly warm and comfortable. The lights are brightly reflecting off the surface of the water. We've been transported. It's like the stage lights from the Foxy Alive concert that I attended the first time. Although it wasn't that long a time ago, but feels like it happened ages ago. Oh, has it been a time jump? I was wringing out the towel that was soaked in river water. The water is so clean that even by dumping the towel into the water, it becomes clean instantly. Well, I didn't think there would be days I have to do a washing in the middle of the mountain. But for some reason, I don't hate doing this. After wringing out the clean towels, I felt like my mind has also been washed. When I finished washing clothes, I collected all the clothing and went back to the bottom of the river. So are we in the fox village now then? I'm here! When I returned from the laundry, there was no one inside and only fire on the hearth. A Akito? It's dangerous to leave a fire burning while you go somewhere else, so I went back to look for Akito. When I found him, he was sweating a little. Are you chopping wood for the fire? When I tried to talk, there was a light wind stroked my cheek. Huh? Hmm? Oh, you're back! When Akito turned around, his tail swayed gently. What's happened? What's going on? Oh, the tail appeared again? Since back then, Akito's ears and tail have appeared most of the time. Sometimes he looks a lot more human and sometimes he looks more like a mythical creature, waving his big tail. It's been almost three weeks staying in this secluded place with just two of us. <gasps> oh, yes! Two of us living alone! Akito isn't able to hide his ears and tail much anymore after he received the power from the Magatama. Whoa, what have I missed? Is it going to be a flashback? After the live broadcast, the newspapers were reporting hugely on them saying that the band members were a bunch of monsters. I came back to the office after I was released from the ivy. I've collapsed instantly. I'm sorry, it's all my fault. The words came out naturally. It's okay, it's not your fault. K kind of is your fault, but it's not your fault. Akita wasn't able to put away his tail and ears and it was dangling behind him limply. I didn't know that the barrier in the apartment would disappear because I made another one in the office. They searched for a gap, I guess. Keisuke's tone was disappointed. We could tell he did his best. Anyway, what are you guys going to do from now on? The film was already shown through live broadcasting and has been around on the internet by now. It's all over Facebook. So, we can't sing anymore? While Yuki was talking, he really resonated with everyone else's feelings. It was sad more than anything, and it probably was what Pierre Rose were aiming for. They must be thinking of banning us from the entertainment world and expanding their territory by singing. Damn it! Those guys don't have any passion towards music! God damn it! Akito punched the wall with his fist. His hand was red and swollen with despair. If Akito was connected to the Magatama, does that mean your feelings have been connected to each other? Oh, yes! Oh! You heard the new ballad we made, right? Maybe Akito's song stole your heart. You were listening to that song? Yeah, I was I was suspended from the ceiling by, by Ivy. 
that's that's what happened, remember? Yeah, my tears overflowed and I was filled with painful feelings. When I said this honestly, Akito's cheeks turned red. Perhaps this is what it means to have fallen. It's quite embarrassing when you can actually see it in front of you. So the seal has been released from the Makatama. Yeah. No, I don't think so. I think you just made a contact with it. If the seal has been broken, you wouldn't be standing here normally. Akito was grabbing his own left hand to hold back the overflowing power. I am sorry. I really don't know how to cut off the contact. It was Akito who lightly tapping on my head to reassure. I just told you, it's not your fault. Even if he looks different from usual, the warmth of Akito's hands haven't changed. I cannot stay here because of the situation. On the other hand, I can't return to the village either. It's the same for her. Yeah. If Akito connected to the Magatama, they'll try to make him break the seal in every possible way. What are you going to do from now on? But live with Akito! You just told me that. Leave with Akito. Is that right? I'm going to... Yeah, because I saw him... We lived in the forest. He was chopping wood for three weeks. Yes! I'll leave with Akito. My mouth moved naturally. If the power of the Magatama and Akito are connected, I shouldn't be apart from him, right? Absolutely, Blanche. You stay with your man. It also makes me worried about Akito. Each day that I spent away from him, I don't know what's happening. Take me with you. Take me, Akito. Are you really? All right. Akito's pale hand touched my cheek. I promised her that I'd protect her. I'm not going to let other villagers, villagers or raccoons take her away. When Akito declared this, Keisuke quietly raised his hand. Then, there is a place I know about. Maybe you two can hide from both people and the mystical creatures for a while. Exactly three weeks. Because of Keisuke's idea, Akito and I are living on this mountain. The other members are hiding in the city. I don't know what's going to happen. I hope they can sing again. There are many things I feel scared about, but I am more desperate to get used to day-to-day -day life right now, since there is no electricity, no water, and no gas around here. What about our cousin? What happened to our cousin? He's never been mentioned. He's just kind of disappeared. I've chopped some woods. Is there anything I can help? When we just arrived, Akito wasn't able to chop the wood well, but now he can chop many in a short amount of time. Okay then, can you please rinse that rice? Even though I knew that it was a momentary peace, these peaceful days have continued. Oh, it's like we're having the conversation of a newlywed couple. <laughs> huh? Akito, what did you say? Uh, yeah. Like a newlywed. Hint, hint. You must have mentioned this unconsciously. You finally realised what he said afterward. Uh, yes. I will marry you. It's one of those embarrassing moments two people look each other in the eyes and then quickly look away. Look away. Away. <coughs> it's becoming really awkward. By being conscious about it, my heart is jumping faster. Th th this morning, I found a lot of mandarins above the river. Let's make something for after dinner. While interacting with Akito like this, I just remembered how we were behaving the day that we arrived. Flashback. When I first came to this area, I was a bit scared of how silent it is with no one around for miles. Akito was walking ahead of me. He suddenly stopped and spoke his thoughts out loud. Apparently, this place is where Keisuke was hibernating in the past. Whoa, hibernating? Foxes don't ha Do foxes hibernate? British ones don't, anyway. Keisuke, hibernate? I do not know much about the details. I've heard that he was alive way before us. There was a time when he was hibernating here. So that's why he sometimes acts like an older brother. That line of words made Akito wonder. <gasps> Hang on a minute. Is, is Keisuke white? Is he the white fox? Because we've been hibernating from a long time ago. Maybe he's the white fox. Or is the white fox in the necklace? I'm getting confused. I don't know about... I don't know how to say this, but when Keisuke looks at us, his expression becomes really gentle and kind. I was always wondering about it. Oh, I see. I always thought he's the one who always steps back and likes watching others, and I didn't like that attitude. Nikito drew his brows together. 
until Akito is completely stabilized, or until the seal of the Magatama is completely broken. We won't be moving from here. It's the life with just two of us in this cabin. Oh, may the seal never break. Oh. Since I came here, I often had a strange dream. It's the white fox and the yin-yang master's secret date. <gasps> when the night comes, I quietly wait for the fox outside the village. The dreams that the Magatama is showing are too fragmental and hard to connect. I finally learned all the songs from the scroll I borrowed the other day. All of them? That's really quick. You truly are you truly are the great fox. That doesn't matter. I just wanted you to hear me, so I memorized them for you as much as I can. Haha! -ha! I didn't know that part makes you grumpy. The fox softly smiled at me. Today he isn't looking like a perfect fox. He might have, have his ears and tail out, but he has the form of a handsome young man. Is this to control me? I questioned him playfully about the things I didn't understand. The great fox looked at me like I was being ridiculous. No way! This whining isn't befitting of you, Yin Yang Master. I don't like being to call that. I just treated a ninja fox. I'm supposed to be a girl. While we kept metting in secret, talking with each other became easier and easier. It doesn't look like any betrayal would happen. There was gentle breeze blowing. I am just a fox who met an odd girl. My best friend always, always tells me I'm a strange person. Your best friend? Oh, Keisuke! So Keisuke is not the white fox, he's the white fox's best friend! Pieces of slotten! Huh? After hearing about his friend, I am even more puzzled. But since it's my dream, I couldn't find out anything else. For me, he's a strange person too. He's laid back and difficult to hold on to. He's really a good person though. A coincidence. I guess it's a common name for mythical creatures who strangely hibernate. I am so jealous. I don't have any person that I can call a friend. You really don't have any friends, but you are always surrounded by many people. In my dream, the fox tilted his neck and I was able to see a beautiful golden pupil shakes. What? So he tilts his neck and I was able to see a beautiful golden pupil shakes. I'd, I'd, is that his eyes shaking? I'd, I'd, I'd. Either his neck or his eyes are shaking from what I can gather from that. That's people who are depending on me, so I have to be first because they are people who depend on me, so I have to be conscious. <laughs> it's always good when you're around people to be conscious, especially when they depend on you. Probably the only people who I can talk about my problems with are you and Keisuke. As a friend of mythical creatures, it must be hard for you to make human friends. They sat talking for hours, cuddled up. Time seemed to fast forward. A villager found the two of us one day and called the other villagers. We were surrounded. Oh, it's like black screen. Shit is going down. The end of the story finished with sealing the fox using my Magatama. I can't hear the conversation. I don't know why it happened like this. Maybe the fox got attacked and he was dying, so she sealed him to keep him alive? Maybe? Hmm. I was dreaming lightly. When I awoke, it was still midnight. It's an old house, but at least they have a window. The stars that you can see beyond the window pane are many times shinier than the ones we can see in the town. Are you awake? Are oh, we sharing a bed? I heard a small voice from the opposite side of the hearth. You can't sleep either, Akito? Yeah. The silence lasted for a while. I started asking about the things I found difficult to ask for a very long time. So my ancestors sealed your ancestors, right? After I met you and other members, I started to have strange dreams sometimes. At first, I didn't understand what this dream was about, but I recently can hear the conversations clearly. The conversations when you were in a dream? Hmm. A conversation between Ying Yang Master and the White Fox. Akito startled and looked over to my side. Our eyes matched where the moonlight hits across the hearth. You're telling me that's our ancestors? I don't know about that, because for me, it's only a dream. But in that dream, I always have knowledge of the Ying Yang Master technique, or no waka poetry that I don't know about in the real world. I can't believe that the dream is about me. So, I've been to my grandmother's storage, 
I was looking around inside, and I found the scroll of Waka. You think that's the same ones as the one in a dream? Maybe. I couldn't find any other clues inside the storage. In the dream, two of them sneaked out at night and stayed around the outside of the village. Nikita was listening about the dream. I had very seriously. I can only see them as lovers. They were thinking about each other very much. I couldn't believe that she betrayed him. Nikita was listening quietly, but thoughtfully. Maybe it was Keisuke. Maybe he did it. I grew up learning that my ancestor was deceived by a Ying Yang master who was his lover and was sealed by her. So our mission is to take revenge and regain our power. Do you think there's a chance that there was a misunderstanding? I asked him hopefully, but of course, Akita would know more about it. I don't know, that's all I know. Humans have betrayed us, so we, our people, are going to take revenge and regain power that was taken. I see. I'm sorry you were involved in all this. But I'll protect you for sure, so don't worry. <gasps> Fuck! <laughs> that freaked me out. Oh god, I got like Doki Doki vibes there. Oh! Right, that's just wow. <sighs> Definitely Doki Doki vibes. Ikito's orange red eyes are narrowed softly. Oh, thank you. The words Akito told made me feel relieved, and I was gradually taken back to the world of my dreams again. Just before falling asleep, I could sense Akito got up from the futon and sat by my side. Akito. Akito gave me a warm, gentle look and made me smile. Seriously, can't you be more cautious around me? I think I will be now. Akito looked amazed, and in the end, he kissed me on the cheek, the same way as the lovely dream I had. <laughs> right, I'm calling it there. I'm ending it now before something else happens. Oh, right. Thank you very much for joining me on this episode of Ayakashi. So this is part seven. I have a feeling the next one is going to be the last episode. We're finally going to find out what's happening. So I hope you've enjoyed. Please leave a like. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this episode and what you think of the playthrough so far. And if you have enjoyed, then please don't forget to subscribe. It really helps the channel. Thank you very much, guys. And I will hopefully see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.